This is a quick start guide to texture painting in Blender 4, so you can create wonderfully textured models. So I'm in Blender 4.0.1, which you can see down the bottom here. I've got my screencast keys on the left-hand side here, and I've got my hammer model, which you can download if you want to follow along, link in the description. There's three stages to texture painting, obviously creating the model, then you need to unwrap the model, so Blender knows where to put the 2D textures on your 3D model, and then lastly is to paint. So I've already done stage one for us, but before we unwrap our model, one important thing to check is the scale. If I press N on my keyboard and go up to item, you can see that my scale is not set to one here. That can possibly cause some issues when unwrapping. To set this scale, we press Control A. That gives us the apply menu, where you can go up to object, apply, and choose the scale option. Notice that these are all now at a scale of one. So we should be ready to unwrap. We can go across to the UV editing workspace, and you can see my model on the side here, and my UV editor on this side here. Now, depending on your model, you may actually see some details here. Blender adds default UVs to objects, but as soon as you start editing that object, it kind of messes up the UVs. So we need to re-unwrap it. On the right-hand side here, you can see that we're in edit mode. And to unwrap, we need to make sure everything's selected. So A to select all. You've also got that in the select menu up here. And then to get to the UV menu, you press U. Or you can click on the UV menu here. It's the same thing. And we want Smart UV Project. That's the easiest way to unwrap. So I'll select that. You should see a box like this. The only thing you need to change on here is the island margin. I put this up to 0.01 and press Enter and press OK. That will give us this unwrap here. So if I zoom into this, you can see it's broken down my 3D model into 2D so I can paint on it. Incidentally, the island margin is the distance between the islands here. And setting it to 0.01 gives us a little bit of distance so the textures don't bleed into each other. So we're now ready for texture painting. Let's go across to the texture painting workspace, just here. Very similar to the UV editing workspace, except this side is actually the image editor, not the UV editor. And on this side, we're in texture paint mode. Now, if I try and paint now, we should see an error message, missing materials, textures detected. So we need to create a new texture to paint onto. This used to be available to us down the side here. Now it's up the top middle here under texture slots. Before I do that, to show you what this is doing, I'm going to bring out a new window up here and change this to the shader editor. You don't need to follow along with this. I'll press N on my keyboard to get rid of the side panel. And you can see currently we have no texture on this object. What the texture slot does when I create a new texture, so click on the drop down, press the plus sign, and I want a base color. I want to change the width and height to 2048 by 2048. That will give us a bit more detail in our texturing. The name hammer base color is absolutely fine. I'll turn the alpha off, that's to do with transparency, we don't need that. You can have a base color that you start with, but this sort of whitish color is fine, and I press OK. So we can see down the bottom here, we've got a new texture with that white color in the background. And you can also see we've got a new material here, material 001, and it's got that hammer base color texture added into the base color. So when we set that up here, it sets this all up for us. And now I should be able to paint. So I can left click and paint over my object and you can see the paint appearing over here. Now, a couple of things to be aware of. If I scroll across the top here, we're in solid mode shading. I always jump across to material preview mode. It's much easier to see what you're doing. Incidentally, you can press middle mouse button to scroll across your menus. To resize the brush is the F key and move your mouse side to side. Well, that's the radius up the top here. To change the strength is Shift F and you can see moving my mouse side to side will change the strength. You've also got your color picker down here, which is also available up the top here in the middle. So if I change this to a bright red color, resize my brush, I can start painting on my hammer. The very last thing that I think is important to note, if I scroll down on my tool and workspace settings on the side here under options, it's a really good idea to turn this bleed up to something like 12. That, if I zoom in on my texture over here, is the distance that it bleeds over the edge. So you can see it bleeding over the edge there. If I zoom out a bit and start painting, you can see it bleeds over that extra bit now. That should help stop you getting any strange anomalies in your painting. So that's a quick start guide to texture painting in Blender 4. Now you've got the starting point, you should be able to follow along with all the other lectures in my texture painting playlist. Link in the description. So enjoy texture painting. I hope this helps.